Hey guys, welcome to the uh, first episode of the Third Planet from the Black Hole podcast. I'm your host, Danny Benson, and I am joined today by Ryan Ship. Hey. And uh, we're just going to talk about anything and everything today because there's so much and so little going on in the world right now. And Yeah, uh, lots of crazy stories. Lots yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how are things going in Texas for you? They're going well. Can't complain. You know, a lot of fun stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, nothing overly new though. Kind of semi boring recently, but yeah, um, making it work. <laughs> California is still uh, dead. I mean, it's just I don't know what is what it is with this yeah. state. You got LA that's on fire and everything yeah. right now. And then they're trying to open up some other parts of the state and it's just such a mess. But I heard you guys have had like super bad bud slides recently. We have. I haven't even heard. like landslides. I haven't even heard about mudslides. There's so much. Oh, uh, I heard there was like some I heard there was like some uh, I wanna say it was like Highway One or something, like in SoCal, like fell into the ocean or something. Nice. Awesome. I mean, what else would happen? Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you where, but I think it's uh, Apple News or something. Yeah, it probably. I think that they were predicting that because we got such a heavy amount of rain and such a... It's been really dry for winter here, and then, like, now it's uh, it's uh, raining a lot. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I started door dashing recently because uh, to make some extra money. Like it's interesting because it's door dashing up here where i live because i live out in the boonies for anybody who doesn't know and uh the technology is very foreign to these people up here and uh, <laughs> it's like uh, who is this person on my property oh my god it's bad like, like it you was just ordered food yeah i went up to one house the other night and it was uh and it was this old like brick house out way out in the boonies and there was on the side of this hill a bunch of dead cars around the house and you know big old like blue lives matter flag out front and the trump flag hanging too and i I go up and i just hear like a thousand dogs barking in the house and i just hear this guy like yelling like put up the dogs before it's getting done she's like don't you yell at me and they're just screaming at each other as i'm trying to knock at the door and the guy oh. opens, this big ass guy with like this huge beard comes walking out and he's just like he was like oh hey what's up brother i'm just like uh, here's your mcdonald's he's like thank you I was like i was like are you even gonna take so this your- is the best yeah and i'm just like are you even gonna take your chew out before you eat so yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's been it's been interesting. Uh, yeah, I can see people being. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, I can see that being definitely wild to a lot of people. Yeah, and it was uh it was snowing out the other day up up the hill where I where I door dash so I almost ate it because I didn't have my snow I didn't have my snow boots or anything on so I almost ate it going down a, a couple people's driveway because it was like icy and everything and I was trying to like carry their food and everything. And... Oh it's it's been interesting um oh, that sounds horrible. yeah there's only three places up here that offer doordash like okay maybe five and i'm one of the few people who door dashes mm-hmm. so they're starting to recognize me when i walk in <laughs> you're regulars like, you're like hit me better yeah and uh it's uh is mcdonald's like the most popular one? no surprisingly not the most popular one is applebee's and panda express up here Huh. I would not have guessed that. I mean, yeah. Applebee's, I guess I could kind of see a Panda Express. Really know. Yeah, we have a Panda Express up here. It was a big deal when we got a Panda Express up here. Um, <laughs> it's just, I, oh, man. They're making a killing. They're like, this is the best market. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, you just got a bunch of white people that think that that's real Chinese food or whatever. I don't know. It's it's funny and it's uh and orange chicken is bomb. it is bomb and i i i have to make sure that i don't i'm not tempted to order any food and anything when i'm on shift or whatever and it, it it's yeah. 
blows my mind too because like sometimes i'll do i i've been doing i make more money doing dinner shifts so i'll uh mm. <laughs> like late 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 at night i'll be going way 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 the hell off the grid to these places like a little one lane road <laughs> off the edge of a cliff out to these trailer parks i don't even know how they get power or plumbing out there to like deliver food to these people i'm like how do you even have reception i don't even have reception on my phone i don't know how to get back so <laughs> your maps is like loading you're like i hope this is the right place i hope so it's, it's that just, sounds all sketchy yeah so uh it's a uh, it's definitely been interesting uh hey uh, i don't know i feel that i haven't done any of those things in a while but i don't know I haven't, I haven't ventured, like, adventured too much recently. I'm going on a hike tomorrow, but I haven't been, like, outdoors for, like, other than, like, working out and stuff very recently. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Hiking is... I, I got a piano recently. You got a piano? This like is completely a- right. I did. So, okay, the office that my job is, like, where, uh, where our, like, corporate office is, yeah. used to be a music studio and um we started like cleaning it up a bunch so we could like you know use it more and uh-huh. there was a piano in like one of the old like rooms and my boss was like yeah this is garbage and i was like well are we gonna throw it away or like can i have it he was like i, I don't care as long as it's not here in two days like however you get rid of it is fine <laughs> so i had him and uh one of the other people like help me load it into the bed of my truck and they were like what are you gonna do with this like do you know how to play piano and i was like no but it's a free piano like might as well so awesome yeah i loaded it into the bed of my truck and then i put it in it, and i have no idea what i'm gonna do with that but i got a free piano so here's what you do you set up the piano oh wait it's a real piano it's not like a keyboard it's a real piano no, like it's a real piano like it's we got like the piano wire inside of it and all the stuff like, holy hell i thought it was like a keyboard so you got a real piano damn yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do like i have to pay somebody to tune it whenever i decide where i'm gonna put it but for now i'm just like this is badass like pick it up and just like fulfill like your looney tunes dream of like throwing it off a roof or something just so you could hear it hit the ground <laughs> Just to donate it and be like, yeah, I want someone to get hit by a piano today. <laughs> it's a what you need to do is just get a big ass hammer, break down a wall in your apartment, mm. and build a fireplace next to it so you could play the piano in front of the fireplace. Uh-huh. Yeah, like SpongeBob I when he's playing that. the organ. Need more open. Yeah. <laughs> it's like make my apartment more open concept. I'm like, you know what? I don't yeah. like this wall. Yeah, just get rid of it. I mean, what's your landlord going to do? do like, the it's always sunny. <laughs> I'm going to do the it's always sunny thing where I'm like, this wall is just a controlled burn wall. <laughs> Control <laughs> burn. Control <laughs> burn the interior of your house. <laughs> oh, man. I can make that happen. I'll just have, I'll have like three fire extinguishers and I'll be like, I think I can time it right. Dude, if I could, lit my, if I could light my car on fire and put it out i think that you could control burn your apartment and it'll be just fine i feel like it would it would add to it you know and like yeah. whatever little char you know like you can just paint with it like oh like you know, put some little fancy yeah well fancy butterflies and the ash around it like, people would love that exactly and you know the native americans used to do control burns to clear out brush and everything in the forest so that way there wouldn't be these massive forest fires and you could use that same concept mm-hmm. you know you're control burning your house so you're planning ahead for when a big ass fire comes along it won't char your entire apartment because <laughs> you already control burned it exactly this is gonna make Premiums go down for insurance, if anything. Honestly, exactly. See, it's a whole, it's a whole new market that we come. That's what with. I'm going to tell them. What we're going to do is we need to scrap the podcast. We scrap the podcast, scrap the website, and we offer <laughs> control burns for people's houses. For home service control burns, we'll bring the fire to you. Yes, <laughs> I like that. Right? It's amazing. I think, I think I would use that. I would so yeah, would I. Like we'll, we'll burn your walls down. We'll make it better. Exactly. It's like you don't need a demolition team to get I mean, rid of this wall. We'll burn it for you. 
Oh, burn this shit down. <laughs> There is something hella funny because because I live in California for people who don't know and then like it's I live in fire country, so like my house is about to burn down. Like every summer, my house is like thirty seconds away from burning down, but it never it hasn't yet. Knock on wood. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> there is this lady who got elected into Congress, and or, or something. Her name's like marjorie taylor green or something like this and she's a uh, she believes in QAnon and all that and she's like a big time conspiracy nut case and take it keep in mind this woman holds office in the united states government <laughs> she has power and she said that the reason California has so many wildfires is because the Jews have these giant ass star spaceships that are shooting lasers down at California to light it on fire. <laughs> oh, that seems like the best use of lasers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I figured so, so, it's like Damn. so the Jews have they've conquered Star Wars. They're, they're they're Starfleet at this instance, and the first thing they want to do <laughs> is burn down California. Okay, I mean that makes sense to me. Why would I want to use those lasers to take over the sun when I can just burn small parts of California? Yeah, specifically She's my specifically my back ass town that nobody gives a shit about. Yeah, that town. Yeah, burn that place. Because <laughs> we. Tribute She's got so a lot much. of enemies there. Oh my god! If anything, I figured oh. these people would love her here. Um, <laughs> this woman has power. People voted for her, and that's what scares me so much. <sighs> oh man! I don't know how people come up with those things. I'm just like, why, why does your mind go to lasers and space to <laughs> to, to yeah. annoy people? I don't, I don't even know, I, I don't understand most of this shit. Like I don't understand the the whole like white supremacy stance or the or the alt right stance that Jews are taking over America or whatever. I'm just like I've only ever met two or three Jewish people in my entire life, and only one of them was a practicing Jew. <laughs> the rest were just like, yeah, I had a bar mitzvah, and uh, <laughs> that was it. So this is. I that was it. That was that was just too much for me. I can't do it. Yeah, this is too much. Work. I don't know. I don't get a lot of those things. Like all these people are coming to take over the world, and I'm just like, are they though? Like, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just like a whole. Maybe the Illuminati thing is real, but I can't. Uh, I, I, I find that so hard to fathom. Yeah, I uh, lizard people. It's probably honestly. Did you hear that the like mini Godzilla? Did you hear that the president of Brazil said that he's not going to take the COVID vaccine because it's going to turn him into a lizard? I did not know that. Isn't that amazing? Good for him. He's on to something. He's like, yeah, I know what's up. <laughs> He's like, you're not going to fool me. He's the president of the country. Yeah, he runs an entire <laughs> country. He runs a, a powerful economy that um, the guy is like, he really is a Latino version of Trump because he wants like he wants to get rid of all the <laughs> the, the tribes and the forests and everything. He's like, what have they done to you? They don't even know you exist. The, the ones that are in the Amazon. Really, though? Like, they're just... Yeah, yeah it's... Fun and fishing, living their best lives. And like, Let's just go bulldoze their, like, little huts. You're like, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, I, I don't understand these people. And uh, it's... It's crazy times, man. It's we gotta so... come up with our own conspiracy theory. I bet him, Boris Johnson, and Trump are all from, like, you know, they're all related. They've been uh they just created, come in different masks. They created in a they were created in a laboratory. <laughs> to like uh maybe just, I can see that. Yeah. Now there is a there's an episode that uh my sister and I want to do on this podcast episode a little bit later where we just go over a bunch of a bunch of conspiracy theories. Cause I mean it's hilarious. Like the QAnon have you read into QAnon? Not a whole lot. Like I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it really. <laughs> wasn't it like a bunch of posts that somebody made and they just got like wilder and wilder and everybody found them online okay this is it's supposed to be there's donald trump i think i'm so sorry to all you q people if i misrepresent this but 
apparently <laughs> Trump has been undercover his entire life to take down the pedophile elites in this country, which is why he's been he was hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein before uh, he was president and everything. So he's going to he he set out on a mission to take down uh, all the Democrats, um, John McCain. And I think Mitt Romney's another one. Megan McCain. Pretty much any Republican who doesn't like Trump is automatically in on his like pedophile, elitist Illuminati ring. And Trump was gonna expose everything. Uh, me... Yeah. And then now they're saying that's why the election was rigged to get him out of office. I'm just like, if Q's out there, he better. If I don't know if Trump's Q or if like Q's in there with Trump, if Q's out there, he better drop some bombs right now. Because <laughs> Trump's already, <laughs> Trump's not even on, tw- Trump's not even on Twitter anymore, so we don't even know what he's doing. He's off yeah. somewhere in the distance. I didn't think that was wild. We like took him off the account. I was like, <laughs> damn. I, uh, how do you feel about that? That he got that he him and like all of his buddies got kicked off of the internet. Um, uh, I mean, I personally don't really care, but I don't know because I had a bunch of arguments that was like. I don't think it's fair. It's like freedom of speech violation stuff. And I was like, well, maybe you shouldn't get your news from Twitter. That's a good point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, not that Twitter is a bad platform, but it's not like if I get my memes from the same place, I get my news. I feel like one of those things is not trustable. That's a really good point. Like, that is. Yeah, you're right. Like, I go on iPhone and Reddit a lot. I'm just like, I, I don't believe half the shit on there. Like it's funny and entertaining, but I'm like, yeah, this is not, this is probably not real. Yeah. I have the amount of people that get their news from memes is hilarious, especially on Facebook. It's always oh, yeah. some soccer mom sharing like, you know, well, Karen said this in her Facebook post and I believe her. I'm just like, really? That's where you're getting your news from? Like that's the whole yeah <laughs> then i did think it was funny how twitter started putting up the like you know this isn't a truthful article on a bunch of stuff and people were like trying to rebuttal that and i'm like they're not i don't know what to do with that information it's like they're just telling you to read it and be like yeah this may not be real don't put all of your belief into it and people are like this is the law and you're like okay yeah <laughs> there's no arguing with you then it's just it's ridiculous how much disinformation uh, there is out there these days and you know i could give a shit about what twitter or facebook or any of them do in terms of censoring and everything i don't like it i don't think you should really censor a whole lot of people but they're not a public utility mm-hmm. they're a pri- they're they're a company that could yeah do whatever the hell they want and until they're regulated like a public utility which i think they should be because there's so much disinformation out there i don't care that they ban people for their beliefs maybe just try not being an asshole and you won't get banned <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's really good advice. <laughs> yeah. There's so many people that like are like, no, I'm going to keep being an asshole. I'm going to be a troll account. Yeah. Mad. It's like these these people that are just like, I'm being censored and my freedom of my First Amendment right is being revoked or whatever because I got kicked off of Twitter. It's like, well, what were you posting? And like, there was always a bunch of conspiracy theories about Muslims infiltrating the government and all that and, and all this other garbage. I'm just like, yeah, that's probably why you got banned. <laughs> uh i don't know it's uh it's all it's all hilarious to me and uh it's been interesting working up it's been interesting uh, you know door dashing and everything up here because i went door dashing around the same time that uh when i was when they were doing the inauguration and everything and there were a lot of angry people that answered the door that day yeah, they were just like, there's some people that were crying. Other people were just like, just give me my food so I could eat away my feelings. <laughs> yeah, I bet that area up there was like pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, my mom was almost like, you sure you want to go out today? Or you just want to stay home. Mm, yeah. The whole inauguration thing was like, well, the actual inauguration, I didn't really follow too much. Yeah, like, I didn't even I watch I was working it. that day. And like, I didn't watch I watched it. It looked more of like a Super Bowl like halftime show than it did anything else. Yeah. Um, like there was like a bunch of different things and Lady Gaga singing the national anthem. I was like, wow, this is weird. Yeah, it felt strange <laughs> to me. And uh, the best thing to come out of it, though, was a Bernie meme. It's like... Oh, yeah, the mittens. Oh, yes. 
He's a badass for that. He is. I mean, legend. Absolute legend. Did you see that one where he's like, absolute legend? No, I love how they photoshopped him into that UFC fight and he's like making the dude clap out. Oh, yeah. He's doing the arm bar or whatever. I know. It's so funny. Um, I was like, that's like, I got love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That man does not give no, a shit he's... about anything. I heard that the jacket that he's wearing in the meme is the same one from the I'm once again asking for your donation or whatever. Oh, yeah, it is. It's the same jacket. <laughs> I was I like, know. damn, okay. Bernie's over there, bro. He is. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, I, I really wish that Trump did still have Twitter, though, because I want to know what's going through his head right now. I want to know how he feels. Oh my gosh, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Even if it wasn't like official or whatever, like I don't know, all the Donald Trump memes are they're the they're greatest. Oh, they are. It's so it's so funny. Um Yeah. Back in Florida now, just all I don't know. Of course he went to Florida. It's probably because I wanted to oh. die him in New York. <laughs> yeah. I think they're still gonna do that. They're still gonna prosecute him for like I think tax charges or something. Yeah, isn't that sad that we paid more in taxes than Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I knew some people who were defending that. They were like, oh, that's fine. He's because he's a good businessman. I'm just like, are you serious? <laughs> Be right now. Um, I don't know about that. I think that's just called being. I don't think that's fair. He's like, yeah, no, like, you. Like he's just rich enough to play the system. That's how it works. And you're like, I don't think that's how that should work. Yeah, you should be okay with that. But the GameStop thing is is you know that's that's insane. The whole thing that's going on. Like I, I there's some people who I know who should never be making that much money off the stock market that are making like fifty grand off the stock market right now, which is great. I mean that's that's awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm happy that 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 happened um because i love watching these billionaires like say it's an attack on billionaires i'm just like what's... boohoo there was like some uh major league baseball owner i forget his name but he was like i'm just trying to make a living and it's like bro you're worth like six billion dollars like what that's not making a living that's ridiculous yeah you can buy 50 houses in a middle class like, neighborhood for that yeah, I, you can. I mean, you literally own a baseball team. Like, you're like one of like 50 people, if that. Yeah, it's. And he's like all mad. Oh, you're trying to take away food from me, and it's like, bro, no. Just get fat and live off your no, fat for the winter. Horrible. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I just uh, hibernate. Yeah. No. I uh, I tried to get in to buy a- AMC stock, and they locked the market when I went in. And by the time that they opened it back up, it was already going back down. So I was just like, ah, oh, god damn it, I missed the boat. But uh, yeah, yeah, GameStop's up like seven thousand percent or something stupid. That should just be a new thing now. Is just people yeah. trying to like taking failing companies that are on the brink of going out of business, which is usually their own fault, especially with GameStop. Um, just uh. Jacking their stock up, hella, so that way we could all make money off of it, then selling it off. <laughs> oh, GameStop's gonna be like in like two months. GameStop's gonna be like, damn it, we fucked up. Yeah, they're gonna go from like a super everyone's gonna power. sell their shit. Yeah, it's um, and they're already like trying to change the game right now to make it so that like all these apps like Robinhood and Stash and everything. I use Stash. They're all trying to like change the rules and everything, so that way people don't have to or people can't do that. And I'm just like, what, what's the point of having a stock portfolio then? Yeah. Cause I, I use Robinhood for it. And like the day, I think it was like, I don't know, like Wednesday or whatever, when I went on to it, it said you can only sell your shares. Cause I bought a couple of like, what was it? I don't think it was, it wasn't GameStop. I don't know. There was like five of them. It was Blackberry. Mm-hmm. I think it was Blackberry. <clears throat> oh, Cause there was like funny. a bunch of Reddit stocks. They were all trying to like do that too. Yeah. There was like five or six of them, probably more than that. I bought a couple of like one ones and um, it was like, yeah, you can close out, but you can't buy anymore. And I was like, that's, that seems illegal, but okay. It's so ridiculous. I could imagine a bunch of like, uh, 
neckbeards uh running that reddit page just like we manipulated the market from their desk or whatever <laughs> oh yeah i mean they because like the people that are part of it i think it was like melvin capital or whatever in new york they lost like billions of dollars yeah they did like, good for them Fuck. yeah i uh, uh wall street's all yeah I, I i don't understand people who they are under this assumption that the market that the people running the market at the top are going to do right by the people below them. I don't understand people that have that outlook. And it's just, they've had so many opportunities and they haven't yet. I know. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, people are so quick to forget the 2008 financial crisis or they don't understand what caused it. (laughs) Yeah. So many people are like, yeah, they'll they'll do the right thing when it when it, they need to, and it's like, yeah. yeah, they've showed us many many times they won't. Yeah, it'll trickle down, everybody. I'm just like, will it though? Will it though? It's been 30 years of a trickle down economy, like, and how? it hasn't trickled down yet. Yeah, really though. No, nah, that's crazy though. Honestly, the GameStop thing is hilarious. I, it I is. don't feel any shred of like, I don't feel bad for Wall Street at all. I'm like, you guys brought this upon yourselves. I love the, the Twitter posts and all the memes, too. Um, people use their, like, $600 stimulus to do all of that. Yeah. And all the people were like, well, if <laughs> it's like all the rich people are like, yeah, if you just use your money and invest it, then maybe, wait, wait, no, stop. Don't do yeah. that. No. Yeah. The memes are just like, wait, that's illegal. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Yeah, it's like, you can't do that. You can fight us. I'm like, it's... we're finally pushing back. We're giving them a taste of what they deserve. I know. They've done it to us so much. Like, look at all of our stuff that got wiped out. Um, yeah, it's it's great. I love it. Keep doing it. Keep screwing up this this system. Um, as long as I, uh, I make money. I think I had a little bit of... Because uh, I have a bunch of ETFs in my Roth IRA. So I probably had a... I think I had a, some GameStop stock in there but it was part of an etf so it didn't really do much i think it slapped on like an extra 100 bucks to my ira but i mean it's better than nothing that's 100 bucks on my <laughs> ira yeah so yeah i really have you heard of this dogecoin thing too what is it it's called dogecoin or yeah it's like a uh, cryptocurrency i've heard the name is it is it a new one that just came out no, I want to say it was made in like 2013 or 2014. And it's like the insignia on it is like the Shib- Shino Ibu dog or whatever, the Japanese one. Hmm. And it's like a joke kind of cryptocurrency, but it's like real. Like people will actually use it and invest it. And it's up like a ridiculous amount too because of Reddit. See, the thing with cryptocurrency is I don't understand it enough to invest my money into it. Um, Another mm. thing is if I'm you can't use it as regular currency though, right? Um, on certain places you can, but like not in like the economy really. Like yeah. I'm sure on some websites, like they would accept it. Like you yeah. know how PayPal uses like the Bitcoin thing, like you can use some PayPal transactions for Bitcoin. Yeah. But I don't know what websites would take it. It needs to be more mainstream. It's really cheap though, like well at yeah. the time. Yeah. It needs to be more mainstream. It's like for two me. cents a share or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like two cents for a Dogecoin. Huh. Oh, so it's a, the Doge yeah, mean. It's a Doge mean. Like... Is what it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I love it. Um, yeah. If the, you if, should like, you check into it. Like, I, I will Musk, look into uh, it. Ted, or he, yeah, he tweeted the. Like he tweeted like stonks and then like the Doge meme like coins insignia or something like that. So everybody was like, "Oh my gosh, we got Elon on our side! Like this is gonna go up for days." Yeah, he just loves to troll the stock market. It's hilarious. I uh, I'll have to look into it. If I, I'm waiting for places like if more places like Amazon or I don't even really shop at Amazon, but eBay or anything like that, like a lot of the more mainstream websites accepted Bitcoin, then I definitely would invest in it and and want to have some yeah bitcoin's stupid right now it's like thirty five thousand a bitcoin or something like that yeah i do think it's gonna get i don't know it's ridiculous bitcoin, bitcoin is gonna get big it, it is i 
I have no doubt about it. I think that is a big part of the future with the way the, the economy is going. It's just a matter of millennials taking over the world and not boomers <laughs> that don't watching these guys, <laughs> watching those guys try to regulate the, the tech market and everything. Like they just have no idea what they're doing. Like, are you the one with the bird in the logo? And they're just like, no, we're Facebook. They're like, oh. <laughs> well, we don't like you. <laughs> we're so going to try funny. and stop you. And they're like, I don't know. Facebook is looking at that like, you can't stop us right now. You don't even I know. know what this is. It's, uh, it's hilarious. Because um, yeah, it wasn't like the CEO of Google. Google got in trouble for like um, being a monopoly for a little while. Yeah, I, I remember that Google was getting was getting in trouble, and then they're always going after uh, Facebook and all that because of the uh, you know the, the fake news stuff and everything. Which I mean, they really have. And <laughs> there's a great there's a great tweet that yeah. I saw one time. It's the smartest thing I've ever seen on Twitter, which isn't saying much. But it was a mm-hmm. Facebook <laughs> and social media, or Facebook, Fox News, and the other social media have done to our parents what they said video games were going to do to us. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, you know, yeah. I, I mm-hmm. mean, I, I don't understand how anybody can watch 24 hour news. Cause it's just, Oh my God. It's just there to get you angry. Pretty um, much. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't even watch the news nearly as much as I should, but Every time I go on any of those, I'm just like, what are they even talking about? Like, why are they still on this? It's because it's, you got to have a, since they're 24 hours now, you you need to have a, enough time to, uh, you need to fill up the time. So you're going to fill it with a bunch of puff piece opinion pieces or, you know, commentators instead of like just reporting the news. Cause if you look at local news, local news is way more accurate than the the big 24 seven news because they just report the local news and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh yeah it's usually like yeah you know. uh, I uh I, I it's it is weird it is I and no wonder it's, it's no wonder so many old people got heart problems and all that or like and everything it's like you're stretching yourself out watching this <laughs> stuff all day it's just uh, especially Fox yeah. News and Fox News and CNN are like some of the worst. Yeah, and people just watch that like religiously. They're like, "Yeah, this is just my program, so I'm just gonna watch this for like six hours." And you're just yeah. like, oh my god, like, I wouldn't watch anything for that long. It's like, don't you watch <clears throat> TV shows? Like, no. Yeah, I, I I read articles. I, mean, I just watch the. Yeah, I don't ever watch any videos. I like reading mm-hmm. articles at the end of the day on my phone or like when I get up in the morning, and it's always about something stuff that I like. So mm-hmm. I'll read stuff with that's happening with the economy because I like the Economist magazine. And, you know, the, I like watching the market. I also like reading science articles, see what they're doing in the science community and, and things like that. And, you know, technology and and all that's interests me too. Um, Politics is just, Mm -hmm. God, it's too stressful to really be informed on that kind of stuff. It's too polarized. Yeah. But, I don't know. I, I always go on the stocks app and I read a couple of articles on there, but I don't try to go too too into it. Yeah, that's what I that's that's what I do too. It's uh, yeah, but uh, we uh, uh, to change the subject to another piece of misery, we uh, I was doing some comment. I was commentating with uh, some of the other guys on uh, the Apollo City Comics podcast. And uh, I was also did a Sutro <laughs> side watch. They're doing he, another guy I know, Comron. He's doing a, a thing called the Cut of Steel. So they're reviewing a bunch of the the DC EU movies because the Snyder Cut's coming out in March, which is supposed to fix everything okay. apparently. And we re we rewatch, we'll <laughs> yeah, re uh, we we rewatched Batman v Superman. Oh my gosh. Why would you do that to yourself? I, I don't know why we did that to ourselves. And see, here's the thing. I haven't seen it since the day we went to go see it opening night in theaters all those years ago. That was the last time I saw yeah. it. Yeah. I haven't. And, uh-huh. 
and, and I remember that we were all out in the parking lot after trying to say that it wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. We were in like such denial. And it turns out yeah. that was pretty common because like the other guys on the podcast were like, yeah, we were like that too. We didn't want it to be as bad as it was. So anyways, for this version, we watched a, uh, for this commentary, we watched uh, the ultimate cut, the director's cut, which is three hours long. And it's supposed to fix a bunch of the plot holes from oh. this theatrical cut. It was one of the worst mm-hmm. movies I've ever seen. I honestly forgot how bad that movie was. Was it worse? Yeah, it was terrible. I felt oh, miserable that's... after watching that movie. It was, oh my God. I don't understand how anybody can say that that's a good movie. It's <laughs> There's no redeeming, any of the redeeming qualities I thought that movie had from the first time I watched it are gone. I don't even like, like I don't even like Ben Affleck as Batman anymore. I'm just like, because he didn't get to do anything. It wasn't his fault but they didn't let him do anything in the movie. He just sits there and premeditates the murder of Superman. It's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, we sat, we sat on the parking lot for hours just being like, no, nah, it's like, look, I mean, the sound was good. Like it was like it that was one cool movie. scene. Then after that, we were... <laughs> oh, it was, it was tragic though. It was, it was like, they took my childhood and they were like, you know what? Let's break this. Yeah. I, like uh, watching the Justice League, and you know, that and seeing all that on, you know, I mean, it was animated, but it was still like fantastic. And then watching them, like, oh, it's gonna be like live action, like it's gonna be as, it's just as good, except it's gonna be with like real looking people. And you're like, not it all. I know, and with a multi million dollar budget too. And I I talked about that mm-hmm. today too. Is that I think that Marvel had an easier time getting away with the Avengers and everything. Cause there wasn't, we didn't grow up with captain America or Iron Man or any of them. So they got a fresh, they got a fresh start with all those characters, but with DC, we grew up. So many people grew up on the cartoons, you know, with they Superman, the animated series, justice league, Batman. Those were great cartoons that everybody watched. And I, they just, to see how badly they screwed it up. It's just so sad. It's so sad. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, that is three hours of my life that I'll never get back. It was over an hour in before Batman and Superman even met each other in this movie. Oh my gosh. So like, what did they add to it, like, direct or because you said it was like the director's cut? Yeah, movie? they're never in costume. Any of the scenes that, that were added, they're never in costume. There's no in costume scenes of them being added. It's just Clark's trying to investigate Batman to prove that he's a bad guy, which is stupid. There's more shit with the Lex Luthor plan that doesn't make any sense. There's apparently there's a character named KG Beast from the comics. He's in the movie, and I didn't even know it. The Russian guy that had the flamethrower stuck to Martha's head. Remember him? Vaguely. He's a major huh. character. He's a big character in the comics. You'd never even know that in the movie, even in the director's cut. He's he's like a member of the Suicide Squad, I think, huh? in the comics. You'd never know it. And that movie was bad too. Yeah, no, that movie was. Too, I remember we saw that in theaters too because we thought it was going to be good. Mm. Yeah. I know, I never watched um, Aquaman or Wonder Woman, but I watched part of Birds of Prey, but I got I got bored of it. And Birds of Prey, I heard, was a mixed bag. Uh, Aquaman was a lot of fun. It's supposed to be uh, really a lot of fun. Shazam was mm-hmm. a lot of fun too. Um, Wonder Woman's supposed to be good. I got to sit through all I, that. I don't know. I know. Yeah, so they've had some good ones that came out since then, but it was just, there's also just a lot of garbage, you know? And uh, I don't even want to sit through Snyder Cut for the site, but I'll do it for the for the content, I guess. Yeah, I feel you. I'll do it. I'll watch it. it, it yeah. I mean, I have low expectations, so hopefully it'll meet them, but... I'm going to pirate that shit. I'm not going to pay to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> i do want to watch that godzilla versus Kong though that looks badass dude that looks fun i i'm i'm excited for that um 
it looks like if I just I don't want to see any people I don't want to see a whole lot of people I just want to see the monsters actually fight when they're on screen like I don't like the, how they keep cutting back to the people in these movies and I hope that we finally get to see that do you know what Kong's like Molnir thing is made out of mm, what it's a bone from a Godzilla skeleton and one of Godzilla's dorsal fins that Kong ripped off and made into like an axe oh isn't that badass <laughs> yes and mecha godzilla if you look closely in the trailer mecha you can see mecha godzilla in it so there, there's rumors that they're gonna team up I to mean, fight mecha godzilla which is ah, that i mean that'd be cool like i definitely want to see them fight but i want to see i want to see them like you know work yeah. together and fight i mean it's kind of one of those things i feel like is definitely gonna happen yeah it was cool it's that was it's gonna be a good movie that was so awesome when like Kong was like looking over the boat and Godzilla just like I've never seen Godzilla move like that in a movie the way he like jumps up and crawls onto the boat. Like mm-hmm. it looks so cool. I, I, I am excited for that movie. High expectations. I have high expectations for that. I have dirt low expectations for the Snyder cut, but I have such high expectations for Kong versus <laughs> Godzilla. Uh because oh, absolutely the Snyder cut thing is just I'm over it. I'm so tired of waiting for a good movie from him. He's had two chances to turn out a good movie and he blew them both. Um, I know that there's studio interference and everything. So, and it's not all his fault, but he was a big player. Yeah. I mean, even you're the director of it. Like you got to take, got to take the heat for that. Yeah. So, but, um... I don't know. Yeah, as far as movies go, it, I think the reason why I'm excited for Kong vs. Godzilla is that's like the first time we've gotten a preview for a, a big blockbuster summer movie in a while, you know, since COVID started. So, you know, that... Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, th- all the theaters... Yeah, I think that's why a lot of people are excited for it. I mean, it. it's going to be a badass movie. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, it's a good movie to kick off. I think the last movie that we even was able to see in theaters was like the Sonic movie, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was. And uh, I mean, this is like the first movie. Of the three. Yeah, the only one since then I think people kind of got to see was Tenet, but even then it didn't have like a big release because you know. Uh, and Wonder Woman eighty four had yeah. a little bit of had some release releases around the country, but that I heard that movie wasn't very good. Um, uh, I don't that's know. sad. Maybe. Yeah, I'm but, not behind on my movie. I, I'm behind on a lot of stuff, and it's uh, uh but uh, didn't you say the uh, Mortal Kombat movie got? It did. Out? It did get delayed. I think it's coming out in March. Um, I have an article for it up on the site uh, about the some images that got released. I'm a little bit worried about that though, because it's it's going to be following an original character. It's not going to be the main character is not going to be one of the mm-hmm. people that we know from the game. So I'm wondering about that. Um. Mm. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, I mean, I do well. yeah, the pictures look cool. Um, the the pictures that got like, released look pretty good. You know, and I heard the it's supposed to be like a gore fest yeah. too, just like the game. So I'm just like, that's cool. We <laughs> we get the fatalities and everything finally. I mean, definitely cool. Yeah, people rip spines out and shit. Yeah, that's like. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Um, so I'm hoping that it's good. Um, the bar has been set incredibly low by the last two movies. Um, we still got to review the second one. Um, uh, yeah, so that, that's gonna be. I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, as far as video games go, it's pretty. It's gonna be a pretty dead year for video games. It looks like because we're getting Far Cry Six and. I think I'm that's, for that one. That one looks dope. I am excited for that one too. Um, but I I can't think of any other. Because you got me on the Far Cry series, huh? The first one I played was on Xbox. I played the Far Cry. I think it was Far Cry Three. Oh yeah, Far Cry Three. I played that one too. Um, I love that game. Yeah, yeah that was, well, I played it on your Xbox. And then, oh yeah, that's right. You played it when we when we. That one got me, and then I bought Far. Yeah, and I played Far Cry 5. I never played 4, but I got 5, and I'm excited for 6. Yeah, 4 is supposed to be pretty good. Um, uh, I'm, I'm excited for I want to play the original one. Is that Prime? No, uh, Far Cry 4, you're oh, like I in know. the Himalayas or something. 
okay. Yeah, it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be pretty good. I heard the main character is supposed to be a lot of fun. And then uh, I want to play the original one on the, that was on the PC and the PS2 and everything because mm-hmm. that's supposed to be, still hold up pretty well. And then, uh, yeah, that looks good. There's another game coming out called Biomutant that I, I'm... I've been. I remember it got teased with some gameplay footage all the way back in 2017, and it's finally getting a release date this May. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to play that. It's a RPG where you play as like this, you know, these kind of mutant animals in like a, a post-apocalyptic world where like animals kind of have taken over, and it's like a kung fu story. So like, you got like these little like foxes or whatever doing kung fu and shit. It looks, it looks cool, uh, and I'm excited to see what it, what it's gonna do. Yeah. Plus, we need a good RPG. I wanted to get Call of Duty Cold War, but I don't think that's going to happen. Why not? Yeah, I feel that. Uh, just because I, I don't know. It's like 70 bucks, and I'm kind of like not in the market for another Call of Duty game. Right now. Games are so expensive. It's an expensive hobby. Um, what I did yeah. on, on my Xbox, um, I signed up for Game Pass Ultimate, so you get... It's like a Netflix, but for games. So you get a bunch of games from Xbox and the first party games stay on there forever. So you don't have to worry about them leaving. And then you also get a EA game pass. Mm-hmm. So I got fight night. Obviously I got all the battlefield games and I got uh, the new battlefront two game, star Wars battlefront two and all those EA star Wars games. So, uh, and I recently started playing. Okay. The new- yeah, I recently started playing the new Star Wars Battlefront 2. Well, it's not new anymore, but uh, um, I remember I played it when it mm-hmm. came out. I didn't. There wasn't any content. I didn't like it. It was uh, just microtransactions and everything because they're trying to milk everybody for money. But you know, because they were losing so much money, they got rid of the microtransactions and everything. And it, it's like a regular shooter, and it's it's a lot of fun. It really is. So because uh, I know when it first got released, there wasn't very many maps for it or something like that. I think they yeah. added a bunch now. Yeah, there's a bunch right of maps. Now. There's a bunch sure. of content on there, and it's it's really fun. It's it plays really well, and the mu- the music's great, the sounds great, and uh, yeah, I, I I've I was up binging it last night, so I'm uh, I'm excited for that. Uh, one of the games that I got free because I'm on PlayStation Plus was the uh, Tomb Raider anniversary one. Oh, how are those? So that one's pretty. good. Is it the original? Tomb uh, it's pretty good so far. I haven't beat it yet. I'm- no, it's like the 20th anniversary or whatever. Oh, so it's the remake? I don't remember exactly. Uh, hold on. Let me look it up real quick. I don't want to I don't want to give false information. Oh, don't um, worry about it. People it got false early, I want to say it's like a year or two. Ago. Okay, hold on. I can look it up. <laughs> Tomb Raider anniversary? Uh, yeah. Um Or maybe Return of Tomb Raider. I think that was what it was. Return of the Tomb Raider. I'm like checking. Out oh yeah, that one where she's like in yeah, the in the snow and everything. I've heard a lot of good things about the new yeah, Tomb Raider game. It's, it's kind of an old, but it's super fun. Yeah, I've I've heard Apparently a lot of good things. A VR part of it too, but I don't. Know. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a, a lot there's of games I got to catch up on. There's a lot of games I got to catch up on, but uh, yes. you know. And it's cool though because I got the the EA Play thing. You could also, I think there's a way that you can cross platform it, so you could also download your profile on on like a PlayStation. So uh, okay. if I when I get my PS5, you should definitely get Battlefront Two, and we could play together online. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, I'll get Battlefront Two. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think there was a little while that it was free for um, like PlayStation Plus users, but I didn't get it in time yeah that's the only reason i that's the only reason i got it it's not i that's the only reason i got it it's because it came with the the playstation or my uh, xbox uh game pass thing which is uh i think it's a good deal you know with everything that you get for it um the halo games are a lot of fun i just discovered the halo games so i'm gonna get i've been getting back into gaming lately yeah halo's halo's good i i want to play the huh no, go ahead. You can talk about Halo. Oh, I also said, well, you got the Uncharted games on PlayStation. I really want to play those. Yeah, they are pretty fun. When uh, the quarantine first started, they gave all the Uncharted games for free. 
Oh, uh, it was that one in Journey. So I, I downloaded it. So Journey, I wasn't a big fan of. Yeah, I remember when Journey came out. It looks it looks like a pretty yeah, game. Yeah, Uncharted is a... Yeah, it was... There's... It was a fun series. But yeah, no, Journey, I mean, I get why people like it. It's like a calm, relaxing kind of thing. But I'm like, I play, mm-hmm. I play video games for like more of the like intensity and like... The... Violence, death. No, I hate on Journey. Not really my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah I get it. No, I downloaded um, Grand Turismo, like, Sport. Like, it, it's, it's an older game, too. I think it came out in, like, 2017. Mm-hmm. But it was, like, 19, though, like 19 on PlayStation Network. So I bought that one. So I wanted a good racing game. Nice. I love that one. It's all fun. Yeah, I never got too into Race racing games. I want, I want to get back into that. I want to get into more. I like fighting games, too. I've been getting into that. But, uh Yeah. It's been fun getting back into video games. Um, I've. It was sucks though that uh, the the game that I was officially when I officially got back into video games the 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 game that I started with was Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, which was a big disappointment. Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm still like. Yeah, that game had a lot of hype. It did. I didn't really, I wasn't even hyped for it. I didn't buy into the hype for it like other games or or anything like that, but I was still disappointed by it. Um, I was excited for it, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't like, I gotta have this and everything, so yeah it uh it was disappointing you know i I, anybody who's watched my review on the the channel here, me and Joseph's review of it, uh well, you know, you'll know what I how I feel about it. Um, it felt like a game that should have came out in the 360 PS3 era. It really did. It didn't feel like a next gen game. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, it, I do plan on replaying it in the future when it gets, uh, patched up and everything properly. I just, uh, I know that we're never going to get that game that I think that we were promised this insanely detailed game. Yeah. But, yeah you think grand theft auto 6 is ever gonna happen yeah i think that's what rockstar is working on right now they're rumored to be doing i mean definitely they're i i think i'm okay with the fact that rockstar only put out a i i understand not i'm not okay with it but i understand why they put out so many so little of games lately because you know like they cranked out games a lot during the ps2 era and everything in the the xbox era and uh, you know they had a couple games in uh, on the uh, Xbox 360 era too. You know they had Red Dead and you know they had three games. They had uh, two Grand Theft Autos and Red Dead. So you know I, I gave them. I'll give them this. Like I, I get that they had to start from the ground up with Red Dead Two. You know that's a a game that they they reinvented the wheel with that game pretty much. Um, cause you could tell like going from like Red Dead Redemption to GTA five, that it was the same game model just with a different skin on it with added features and more refined, if that makes any sense. But, uh, you know, with, with this one, they made a completely different game model and everything. It still feels like a rock star game, but it's a completely new thing. So it was just like, okay, yeah, it took you a long time to do that. But now that you got the model down, can you please put out something a little bit more consistent consistently instead of like every 10 years, you know, and, and then that's another thing too, that they're yeah. milking GTA. They got GTA online so they could just milk that for a long forever and, you know, make a lot of money off of that. So that's why so many people were mad that they announced that there were that GTA five is going to be on the, the, the PlayStation five and the, uh, and the Xbox series X. Cause it's like, why? Why again? Like, why are we getting the same game re-released again? So, I think that's that's with a lot yeah. of game, a lot of gaming studios are have kind of the the big big ones have I think gotten a a little bit complacent because uh, they know that they can milk money off of these older games with like microtransactions, mainly with this era. But you know, the independent publishers that I noticed, the smaller ones that put out a lot of really cool games that I've been uh, checking out lately. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played any. Well, I mean, I haven't played any video games, like new video games, in like a while. But yeah, I don't know. the Rockstar ones are generally ones I look forward to. Those are like Ubisoft games, but yeah, Ubisoft games are are pretty good. I I, uh, I enjoy the Assassin's Creed series. Um, I like Far Cry, so I mean, they're 
they're not anything offensive. I like Yay. Assassin's Creed. I haven't played any of the new ones, but yeah, I, I, I heard Odyssey was really good, but I never got you. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna. I think I'm gonna play Black Flag next, and then just skip to Origins, and then play Odyssey, and then the newest one, Valhalla. Because the I heard the the other ones are like a Black Gucci Flag mess. is really, really. Yeah, everybody keeps telling me I gotta play Black Flag. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I like plus that I like right. the Valhalla was another. I like the historic setting too of uh, right. Assassin's Creed. So I always thought mm-hmm. that was cool. And the Ezio always, tr- I mean, they're always a lot of fun. Yeah, the Ezio trilogy to me is still so much fun. Like, I, I'd love to go back and play those games again. Yeah. I wish there was a way you could play those games for the first time again. I know. They're yeah. so, they're so like, good. Uh, like, yeah. nostalgia hits, but you like once you know the story, it's like, I did it for the first time. You're just like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah, that was a solid trilogy. Because I didn't like the first Assassin's Creed game with uh, Altair. But the the Ezio trilogy to me is just so solid. It's so it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. And uh because I played um Brotherhood or what was uh-huh. it Brother? Revelation. Yeah. Those were all I mean they were just fantastic. Yeah, Brotherhood and Revelations were fantastic. Yeah, uh Brotherhood was really good. Revelations was cool because it was cool seeing an old Ezio and everything. You could see the the progress that he's mm-hmm. made. And uh, I also uh, I I got a uh, the original Alien versus Predator two from like two thousand or two thousand one whenever it came out to to play on my PC and uh, there's a patch you could put on it so you could still play it online and like not very many people play it online anymore but it is fun that you could still play that game online and it that game still holds up really well better than the new Alien versus Predator game that we got in twenty ten. <laughs> Uh, I forgot about that one. That game yeah. was bad. Yeah, it's not very good. But the the original well, one, the game from... wasn't bad. It, it wasn't yeah, fun. No, so it wasn't that great. Yeah. But the the original I game. One of the things I didn't like about it. No, go ahead. I was say one of the things I didn't like about it was when I played as Predator. I felt like there weren't enough buttons for all the things he could do. Yeah, because he's got a ton of gadgets and everything. Wanna... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. At least we got the original one though. If uh your PC could probably handle it. I could uh there's a, a site you can go on to. I I shouldn't say the site cuz you can get in trouble on YouTube for saying sites where you get. But there's a there's a site I'll send you the link to where it just uh it's all games that never got re-released or whatever uh for the PC so you can uh you know find the the files and see if you could download them. So it's a uh, it's pretty cool. But, okay yeah definitely like send me that link because like i don't know yeah yeah my poor pc my is, pc's uh, kind of old now i need to get it. yeah my uh my laptop is not meant for gaming that hard and i i'm pushing that cpu to the max like you could see like the steam coming out of the cpu and it's like <laughs> my computer's all hot and everything i'm like oh man i probably gotta like put a coolant line through it or something <laughs> It's fans like on super loud. You're like, uh, we'll be yeah. fine. My poor, uh, my no, poor I... PC. Um, because I have an upgraded laptop since college, and like, oh my gosh, it's it's not bad, but there's like, there's a lot of just crap on it that I probably won't ever delete. I need to just get a new one. Yeah, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad Flex, and it's a it's a lot of it's a great computer. I really like it. The only problem I've had is the the webcam. Uh, sometimes cuts out but other than that like it's mm-hmm. been a really really good computer and uh you know they're and they're affordable too they're not well, super expensive yeah they're not super expensive either that's what i like about yeah. them. i mean you go to best buy or whatever those dells or whatever they're like two thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars i've seen for some of these laptops it's like geez, man oh my god yeah man that's uh, what's like i don't know like the hp ones because like i mean dells are super nice laptops but they're they're a lot more yeah, they are. And then Mac is not even an option for me. It's way too overpriced, everything for it. Yeah, I don't know. Mac's cool. A lot of people like them, but they're not really. I mean, I love Apple products as much as the next person, but I don't know. I don't feel like their computers are as good as their like, phones and tablets. Yeah, I think that they can be kind of overrated. But, uh, well, I, uh, 
I'm getting to the I, point where I need a new phone too. Lenovo. Yeah, Lenovo's good. What phone do you have? Uh, I still have an iPhone SE. It's pretty much a six and a five body. So I'm pretty far behind and it is struggling. Uh-huh. It's struggling to exist. My four phone. It's- yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. But anyways, you want to wrap it up right now or you got any, or you want to talk about anything else? Uh, um, no, not really. That's so much on my agenda. I mean, other than like the new video game, new news stuff, I've been like kind of boring. Yeah, me too. It's uh, we have, we lead boring lives, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll wrap it up right there. So, uh, Ryan, thanks for being on here. And absolutely, always a pleasure. Yeah, and uh, stay tuned, guys. We're gonna have some more content coming up very soon, and. Uh, you can check us out at www.thirdplanet.news and you know subscribe to our newsletter stay up to date on everything nerdy so thanks for watching guys take care